we have the top of our gnome hat and uh, we've decreased down until there are only four stitches and it is a hassle to work this few stitches on double pointed needles. So for the next couple of rounds, I suggest switching to purled I-cord. So what that looks like is this. First, we've got to get them all onto one, one needle. So the yarn is coming off of this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slot, leave that as my last or leftmost stitch and I'm just going to pop all the other stitches kind of in reverse order uh, as we would normally knit them. Um, so this normally would be the first one we'd knit because it's the, the first one to come after the one that the yarn, working yarn is coming from but what it does is it slips it right into place so that when we work our I cord it's right in the right place. All right, we have all four stitches with the yarn coming off the leftmost stitch. We need to work purled I-cord for four rounds. And like all I-cord, it's best to work on uh, DPNs or a uh, circular. And so we're just going to slide the work all the way across. In I-cord, we never turn the work. Um, so the front, which is the reverse stocking yet, is always going to be facing us. So the yarn's coming off the leftmost stitch and uh, we push them all the way to the left tip of the needle or the tip of the left needle and then we purl across. And then again we just push this all the way to the other tip, bring the yarn behind and purl across. You want to make this first stitch fairly snug. Don't worry about it while you're working it, but once you're done, kind of snug it down here and then purl the second stitch. The yarn coming across the back is what helps it remain knitting in the round, what makes it the, the tube-like shape that I-cord forms. So we have our four rounds of purled I-cord. This is what it looks like from the front. This is what it looks like from the back, a little more open, but we are going to be blocking the hat at the end, which will also help take care of any of the ladders between um, your stitches or any of the places where things aren't so perfect. So what do we need to do now? Now in the pattern, we need to switch yarns. Stay tuned for the next video on how to do that. Happy knitting!